Hello, Math Talino students! Welcome to our Math Talino tutorial. Sa video na ito, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa slope of a line. Ano nga ba ang slope of a line? Let us consider the two ramps shown in our slide. Suppose that there is a car na gustong dumaan sa dalawang ramps. Kung i-analyze natin, mas mahihirapang umakyat ang ating sasakyan sa ramp number 2 kumpara sa ating ramp number 1. Ito ay dahil ang ramp number 2 ay steeper or mas matarik kumpara sa ating ramp number 1. Ang ganitong sitwasyon ay pwedeng i-represent o explain using mathematics. Ang pagiging matarik o steepness ng isang line ay tinatawag nating slope. Again, slope of a line refers to the steepness or inclination of a line. Mathematically, it is denoted by the letter M. Moreover, this slope M can be expressed by the ratio rise over run or vertical change all over the horizontal change. Paano ba natin i-compute ang vertical change at saka yung horizontal change? If we have here the partition plane and a line that passes through the points A and B where A has the coordinates x sub 1 and y sub 1 and B has coordinates x sub 2, y sub 2 the slope of the line is given by the formula M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 I-apply natin itong formula ng slope sa mga susunod na examples. For number 1, find the slope of the line that passes through the points 2, 5, and 0, 0. To get the slope of this line, we use this formula. But first, kailangan natin pumili kung aling points ang ating i-represent na x sub 1, y sub 1, at saka alin yung x sub 2, y sub 2. In this case, pipiliin ko ang point na 0, 0, to be represented as x sub 1, y sub 1. At saka yung point na 2, 5 ay i-represent ko ng x sub 2, y sub 2. Pero tandaan, pwede nating balikta rin ang pag-represent natin ng ating coordinates. Yung 2, 5 ay pwedeng x sub 1 saka y sub 1 at yung 0, 0 ay pwedeng x sub 2, y sub 2. Now, let us substitute in the formula. M is equal to y sub 2, which is 5, minus y sub 1, which is 0, all over x sub 2, which is 2, minus x sub 1, which is equal to 0. And M is equal to 5 minus 0 is equal to 5, and 2 minus 0 is equal to Therefore, the slope M is equal to 5 all over 2. Let's have the second example. Determine the slope of the line that passes through the points 4, negative 1, and negative 6, negative 5. We still use the same formula. In this case, pipiliin ko naman yung 4, negative 1, to be represented as x sub 1, y sub 1 at yung point na negative 6, negative 5 ay i-represent ko as x sub 2, y sub 2. Now, I will substitute in the formula. m is equal to y sub 2, negative 5 minus y sub 1 which is negative 1. All over x sub 2, negative 6, minus x sub 1, 
which is equal to positive 4. Subtracting, we have negative 5 minus negative 1. This will become positive and positive. So, the result will be negative 4. All over, negative 6 minus 4, that is equal to negative 10. And, simplifying, of course, negative divided by negative is positive. In 4 tenths, can be expressed in lowest terms as 2 all over 5. Therefore, the slope of our given line is 2 fifths. For our third example, we still use the same formula. And in this case, I will choose 3, 1 to be represented as x sub 1, y sub 1. And point negative 5, 4 to be represented as x sub 2, y sub 2. Substituting in our formula, this will now become y sub 2, we have 4, minus y sub 1, which is equal to 1. All over x sub 2, we have negative 5, minus x sub 1, which is equal to 3. So this will now become m equals 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. All over negative 5 minus 3 is equal to negative 8. Or, this is equal to negative 3 all over 8. This is now the slope of our given line. For our fourth example, using the same formula, I will choose 1, negative 1 as x sub 1, y sub 1, and negative 4, 4, as x sub 2, y sub 2. Substituting in our formula, this will become y sub 2, positive 4, minus y sub 1, which is negative 1, and x sub 2, negative 4, minus x sub 1, which is equal to 1. Simplifying, 4 minus negative 1, this will become positive and positive, so we have 5 all over negative 4 minus 1, that is equal to negative 5. Or 5 divided by negative 5, this is equal to negative 1. And therefore, this is now the slope of our given line. Going back in our four examples, if we will notice, Kapag ang ating slopes na nakompute ay positive, kung titignan natin ang graph or ang lines, ito ay tumataas from left to right. So, lines with positive slopes rise from left to right. At kapag naman ang ating computed na slopes ay negative, mapapansin natin na ang lines ay bumababa from left to right. So, lines with negative slopes fall from left to right. What about if we have this horizontal line? To determine its slope, we will still be using the same formula. We can choose negative 4, positive 2 as x sub 1, y sub 1, and 1, 2 as x sub 2, y sub 2. Then, we substitute in our formula. y sub 2, we have 2 minus y sub 1, that is equal to 2. And, x sub 2, we have 1 minus x sub 1, that is equal to negative 4. Simplifying, we have 2 minus 2 is 0, and this will become positive and positive. So, 1 plus 4, that is equal to 5. And finally, 0 divided by 5, of course, that is equal to 0. Therefore, the slope 
of the given line is equal to 0. What about if we have a vertical line? Using the formula, I will choose 0 for as x sub 1, y sub 1, and 0, negative 5, as x sub 2, y sub 2. Substituting in the formula, m is equal to y sub 2 is equal to negative 5 minus y sub 1 which is equal to 4 x sub 2 is equal to 0 minus x sub 1 which is equal to 0. Simplifying, we have negative 5 minus 4 of course, that is equal to negative 9. All over, 0 minus 0 is 0. And we have negative 9 divided by 0. We know already that it is undefined. We cannot divide a number by 0. So, our slope is undefined. If we will summarize our last two examples, in the case of horizontal and vertical lines, horizontal lines have zero slopes, while vertical lines have undefined slopes. Okay? So what about if we have a given point and a slope and we want to draw the given line? Say, for example, draw a line with a slope 5 fourths that passes through the point 1, negative 2. First thing that we need to do is to plot the given point 1, negative 2. Point 1, negative 2 can be found here. And after that one, we find another point using the slope given. Our slope is equal to 5 fourths. And based on the definition, 5 is the rise or the vertical movement, while the denominator 4 is the run or the horizontal movement. From the point 1, negative 2, we move upward 5 units because 5 is positive. And we move 4 units to the right because 4 is also positive. And we now get our second point. Finally, connect the two points in a line. So we have the line that connects our two points. And this is the required line. Okay? For the second example, we draw a line with slope negative one third that passes through the point negative four, negative three. Again, we plot the point negative four, negative three, and we know that this point can be found here. Next, from the point negative four, negative three, we use our slope to find our next point. Our slope is negative one third. And again, we can have negative 1 as our rise and positive 3 in the denominator is our run. We move 1 unit downward because rise is equal to negative 1. And we move 3 units to the right because our run is equal to the positive 3. And finally, we now have our second point. Final step, we just connect the two points in a line. So we have the required line for the given problem. At hanggang dyan na lang ang ating Math Kalino tutorial. Sana ay may natutunan kayo. Salamat po sa pakikinig.